This is Late Nolly Talks TV. I'm Late Nolly and I talk reality TV dating shows such as Mary at First Sight, Love is Blind, Ready to Love, The Ultimatum, and Love Island, just to name a few. So if you do enjoy watching that type of content, then please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on when I upload a new video. Now let's get into the last week or so of Love Island USA Season 6. Leah has got to go. I know that she was a fan favorite. She was one of my favorites. As far as the girls go, Leah and Janae were my two faves. And Leah, she has got to go. Let's get into it, guys. All right. So in regards to my last video and where I left off, Leah, there it was the recoupling where... Um, Connor chose Leah and I just thought it was just so weird how disrespectful he was purposefully being to Janae and it was like you know I'm like literally somebody please comment down below if I miss something on why Janae deserved to be disrespected the way she was and just all the unnecessary shade that Connor was throwing and even Leah like she had just um, so, you know, kind of got into it because Rob got with Andrea and, um, <laughs> it was just like, you literally just experienced a guy choosing someone else over you. And now you're with a guy who's choosing you over someone else. So, you know, at least at least be a little kinder towards Janae and her feelings. But she kind of went off on Janae and got into it with Janae. And <laughs> yeah, just wasn't cool at all. So I wasn't a fan anymore. And immediately after the recoupling, immediately, immediately, you see her sitting down and talking to, you know, her and... um Serena are pretty much besties. So she's sitting down talking to Serena. And she's telling Serena, I don't like Connor. I don't want Connor. I don't want him to touch me. I don't want him to kiss me. She calls Janae over, tells Janae, and Janae is dying laughing. You know why it's so funny? Because he went on, he just said, oh, this is the best connection I've ever had. And it was an easy decision. Just throwing all types of shade at Janae. And now, two seconds later, karma came back on that ass. I love when karma comes back so quickly. I just love to see it. Leah doesn't want him. She just wanted to couple up with someone and stay safe in the house. We saw Hannah leave, unfortunately. So, you know, Leah is glad that she's safe in a couple. However, um, America now has to vote who their favorite couple is. And she's just happy that she's not single, but she doesn't like Connor at all. Okay, so fast forward to the whole favorite couple thing. Um, we see the Islanders make a decision and Andrea goes home. Please watch my video on why Andrea has to go home, why Andrea went home. If you are new to Love Island, then maybe you just don't get it. But Love Island is definitely a popularity contest and you do have to make friends with your castmates so they don't vote you out. And you have to make sure America likes you because America votes for who the winner will be. So it's not um, a hard, it's not an easy game to play at all. And you have to find a love connection. So go back and watch my video on why Andrea really got, really got kicked out of the house. It's really because she wasn't a girl's girl. She was in there and she was just booed up with Rob and she had her one friend who could not save her. So, um, yeah, I go into details there, but this is the game of Love Island, and I pretty much explained it, so watch that video. Also, let's run past um, her leaving. So, of course, all the guys think that Leah um, was probably the driving force. Leah and Liv were both the driving force, to kick Andrea out of the house because Leah and Liv were both in a couple with Ra previously and they are just jealous and just don't want to see him happy. And that's what the guys are thinking. But the girls, they just didn't want to send their girl home. They didn't want to send their girl Janae home. And that's just the point of like period of it all. 
But the guys are thinking, oh, the girls are being sneaky. The girls are, you know, purposely trying to break up couples. And Mr. Rob went on a whole campaign like, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Then his ass didn't leave. So why would you not leave, sir? And him still being in the house at this point is just irrelevant. I think he's purposefully trying to wait to get to Casa more. And I think that he'll try to find someone in Casa more. But if you are a, you know, veteran Love Island watcher, you know it's a strong possibility that Andrea may come back in Casa more. They did this last season, season 10 of Love Island UK. Molly got let go and Molly came back. She got let go abruptly and it was crazy and it was awful. But a week or two later, she came back in Casa more and she made it to being one of the finalists from the show. One of the final couples on the show. So it's very possible. I really think Andrea may come back in, in Casa Amor. And it will be like, you know, it would be like a, a nice um, test for Rob. But I, I'd be surprised if she didn't come back in Casa Amor, to be quite honest. But I think that if Rob doesn't find his match in Casa Amor, he needs to go ahead and bounce. You know, he needs to go ahead and bounce. But anyway, so we have these three new people. Okay, hold on. Let me get into the whole um, dance thingy where it's either you keep dancing or you leave if you want to explore your couples, whatever that game was. So Liv and Miguel are in a couple and we already knew that Miguel was going to keep dancing because Miguel was getting to know, um, I can't even remember her name. He was getting to know the person that um, Kendall was in a couple with. So <laughs> the fact that I can't remember her name is crazy work, but <laughs> it's too many people, too many names. So, you know, we know that he's already trying to get to know someone else. So it's really and truly you know, it's puzzling because um, why in the world did Liv stay? Like, I would have done what Kendall did. But, yeah, Liv feels away. But, you know, she already knows that Kendall, she already knows that Miguel was getting to know someone else. And then we have, um, we have... Oh, later on, um, Miguel tells um, Liv that he no longer, he, he's only attracted to her. He, it, it's just a physical attraction. It's nothing else. And I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> Even though it's it's pretty awful, I will say this. What if it were the opposite. Like, I don't know, would it be worse if it were the opposite? Um, But she feels a way about it and that's all she needs. She is going to explore other options. Okay, next we have Nicole. Now I got her name, Nicole. Kendall and Nicole. So Kendall um, really likes Nicole, but he is feeling a way because Nicole is getting to know Miguel. Now here's the thing that Nicole, she needs, like she, these people are so ridiculously ridiculous like it makes no sense because Nicole ma'am you are actively getting to know someone else why in the world would Kendall not keep dancing I mean why would Nicole why would Kendall not leave and and stay when you're actively getting to know someone else he's already thinking in his mind oh she's already getting to know someone else that she actually likes and I've got to go and do my thing that's the only reason why he wanted to explore other connections is because she's exploring other connections. But no, she in her mind, well, he didn't tell me. So now I feel away. But it was like, girl, you make no sense. You are literally one of the reasons why people just, like, you just make no sense. You are the one. I really like Miguel. I like Miguel. And it really did seem like as, as though her and Miguel were, didn't she say at one point that Miguel, like she would like to recouple with Miguel? So to me, I'm like, ma'am, ma'am, you're not like ma'am. 
Ma'am, I don't know what happened between her and Miguel to the point where she decided that she, I guess, wants to just be with Kendall. But if you're getting to know someone else, you have no reason to be mad at Kendall. Just absolutely stupid. So then, of course, with Leah and Connor, we know that Connor kept dancing and Leah left. Yeah, duh, that was going to happen. Duh, Connor, everybody else knows. Everybody else knows she doesn't want you. But that's the karma that he gets for being mean to Janae, who is a beautiful queen. <laughs> um, now, the one that really just hurt everybody, I think, was Serena and Cordell. Cordell was such a nice guy. Y'all, I said in my first video, I really thought Cordell was going to be an F-boy. I really thought Cordell was going to be like a, my brother is a famous NFL player. I get tons of girls, yada, yada, yada. F boy attitude. He's such a nice guy. He's like the complete opposite. I was so wrong. He's such a sweet guy. And Serena, oh, like it broke my heart to see like the disappointment in his face. And <laughs> this is like, I feel like he's, he's a nice guy. I hate it. I hate it for him. And I want to say I love his hair being out like a little afro. A little curly leave, you know, very cute. Very, 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 very cute on him. Um, but yeah, heartbreaking to see. So we see that they separated the people who are interested in exploring their options and the people who are not. And then they bring in three new people, two guys, one girl. And I was like, hold on, because I'll just bring in one new guy, Miguel. So why are you bringing in two guys now and just one girl? But okay. So the two guys and girl come in and it's like, for those people to be watching on the balcony, it was diabolical work, like nasty work. Like, I'm telling you guys, production has such a big part in this show, and we don't talk about that enough because there's no way I'm sitting, I'm sitting on a balcony, literally just watching and looking as sad as a puppy doll. Like Ken, Kendall was looking as sad as a puppy doll. Liv was over there getting jealous. Like I would not be watching the person I'm in a couple with get to know. Three new people. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But we see that the new people are showing, the new bombshells are showing um, interest in Serena, which of course um, Cordell is feeling a way about. And it just makes it so much sadder. Like, oh my God. Like, why y'all doing this? Um <laughs> And then we see um, Kendall getting to know the new uh, blonde bombshell. And, of course, Nicole is jelly. But, again, Nicole, you make zero, zero, zero cents because, ma'am, you are, <laughs> you're, um, you're trying to get to know Miguel. <laughs> what are you, you, you going to do? So, um, so their names are Cassidy, Ken, Kenny, and Nigel. Um, I think they're all pretty good looking. So we see that Nigel, I believe it is, kind of, you know, he's getting along with Serena. And then we see Cassidy uh, showing interest in Janae. And, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cassidy's a girl. Kenny showing interest in Janae. Cassidy... Um, she, who, who is she going on a date with? She went on a date with Miguel. Um, but of course, Kendall was interested in her. So, you know, let's see what happens. They wake up the next morning. They go to sleep, wake up the next morning, diabolical behavior in the middle of the freaking night. The bombshells get to choose who they want to go on dates with. So, of course, you know, we see Kenny going as a with Serena, and it's like, oh, poor Cordell, he can't win. But he did make a good statement where he said, you know, she told me she was a slow burner. If she kisses this guy, then I'm going to really feel a way about it. But, um, you know, we see them go on a date, but there was no uh, kissing, and Janae didn't kiss Kenny either. I thought it was weird because he said that he wanted to taste her lips, but she gave him a kiss in the cheek. So I was like, okay, girl, 
you remember you're, you're still you're single <laughs> but you know she's she said that she wanted to um make them work for it more I'm like okay okay but he's like three years younger than her and she's like you know I mean we'll see we'll see um I think the biggest thing with this episode of course the whole Leah Leah and Rob and Connor and Liv situation so pretty much Leah is going around trying to tell Rob like I didn't hate you I didn't do this on purpose you know it wasn't my decision I stayed quiet and Liv is just like no the hell she wasn't like Liv was trying to defend her but then it got to the point where it was just like girl you ain't gonna, you need to stop lying on my top like stop lying and <laughs> they get into it Leah is just so nasty telling her shut the f up and all this I mean I know it was it's edited crazy like but it's it's definitely via the editing the editing Leah does not look like she's in a good light here and Rob pretty much lets it be known like the door is closed the door is closed <laughs> also Nene leaks the door is closed okay um and she feels like the a hole and at this point, you can clearly see that Leah will no longer be a fan favorite. Um, she's not being my favorite, of course, with the whole Janae and Connor situation. But it, it's clear to see that she's no longer going to be a fan favorite because it's just manipulative. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, and the way she cusses at the girls and yeah, no. The only thing that she could probably try to do to save herself is like try to redeem things with with um Connor, but she already kind of like broke things off with him. And I think she thought that possibly if she told Rob, Rob would get back with her. But Rob is just so sulking around the house, around the villa, like a like a sad puppy. And it's like, sir, you know, if you want to stay in Tokasa more and see if they bring back if they bring back Andrea, that's fine. Um, but if you don't find somebody in Casa Amor, just go ahead and leave, my bro. Just leave. Just leave. Now, I think that uh, Rob is a POS as well. I don't feel bad for Rob. Um, Rob did gaslight the heck out of Leah. Uh, <laughs> he really did. So they almost deserve each other in a way, to be quite honest. But it's really just, it's it's really <laughs> a sight to see. Serena is like trying to defend Leah and it's like, girl, don't die on that hill. Leah is not the person that you want to be trying to save. Leah seemed like she will backstab you in a second as well. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Stick with your friendship with Janae and leave Leah alone. Um, I could tell something was up with Leah in episode like three when the bombshell, when Liv came in as a bombshell and she chose um, Rob, Leah was acting so possessive. And I was like, girl, it's been 48 hours. It's been 48 hours. It was very, very quick. Why in the world are you acting so possessive? Like, <sighs> I could tell right then and there, Leah was given red flags. And now we truly see how red her flags are. And I'm just glad that the rest of America is seeing what we're all, you know, what I already peaked game. <laughs> you know, Leah is unhinged and it's time for her to leave the show. But we don't know what's going to happen. I think there are more guys in the house at this point now. So I think that she will probably be safe. But Love Island does have a lot of like surprise dumpings and all that stuff. So you just never really know. Also, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I think a lot of people, like Janae as well, like Casa Amor be saving people. Casa Amor really be saving people, especially people who are not couples up. But guys, um, let's see what happens. This season is really good. It's, it's definitely giving... Um, <laughs> 
we are team Cordell over here. You know, um, Serena did not kiss the new guy, Nigel, on her date. And she did say that Cordell was still her number one. And he took it like a champ. So I'm happy, but I think that um, Cordell is going to find his person. If he doesn't get kicked out of the house, if he doesn't get dumped, if Serena doesn't choose to recouple with someone else, whew, what if that happens, y'all? Um, if not, if Cordell stays in the house, in the villa, um, I think that he's going to hopefully find his match in Casa Amor. So hopefully, I, I'm like, when is Casa Amor happening? When is Casa Amor happening? Four days. Okay, so good. We have um, some hope, but honestly, we don't know um, if Cordell's going to make it because is Serena going to choose him? Well, we don't know. The new guy, Nigel, I mean, it. let me tell you something. With this show, things turn. It can be one way one episode, the next way the next. Like, it literally just turns so quick, so we don't know what's going to happen. But I am thinking that Andrea may have a surprise return in Casa Amor. Um, if not, if Rob them find his match in Casa Amor, well, Rob is uncoupled, and I don't think anyone's going to couple up with Rob, so I think he may self-eliminate. I, th I think so. We'll see, guys. Comment down below. Tell me what you think is going to happen. What theories um, are you rocking with? Do you think that Andrea is going to come back in Casa more? Do you think that Rob or um, Cordell is even going to make it to Casa more? Who do you think Serena may end up re choosing to recouple with? Comment down below your thoughts. Are you still Team Leah? Are you still Team Leah? Or <laughs> have you jumped off the Leah fan train? Comment down below with your thoughts. This is Late Nolly Talks TV. I'm Late Nolly and I'm signing out. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks again, guys.